Hi, hello everyone. Welcome. Uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Virginia from Jupiter Arts Crafts. And uh, first of all, thank you so much for stopping by today and uh, joining me in another uh, project share. This time, uh, I'm sharing a guest uh, design team project for Christina of uh, Chris Lana Crafts. And uh, she has her uh, digital kit shop in Kofi, which I will uh, link in the description box along with uh, the kits that I have used for this project. So this is also my first attempt at a flip flop journal which of course is uh, popularized by Leslie of uh, 507 Willow House and of also uh, of late I was inspired by Sherry, uh, Meredith of Sherry Mare Collective and uh, along with other many art other artists creators who have uh, I've used some uh, inspiration which I'll try to mention as I go along uh, with uh, the flip through. So let's get ahead with, started with uh, the flip through. So this um, journal is a spring journal. Uh, my intent in the beginning was to create a blue spring, kind of a blue spring journal because uh, Christina has that uh, blue spring uh, kit that uh, she released I think sometime before or during spring and she has a few other uh, spring floral kits from uh, the past that I have had and have planned to use uh, but finally I got into it but I was supposed to like make kind of like a blue uh, spring journal because of the main kit that I used the blue spring but it turned out to be different colors and after picking the kits that I have used into this it came out to be like more of a butterfly of course still spring journal so I called it uh, the um, spring flutters which has a little bit of the fluttery creatures that we see in the spring and also summer and throughout the year so here's the front cover of the first uh, cover front cover it's reversible like right because of uh, it's a flip-flop and on the journal uh, uh, cover I just wrap it around with uh, this uh, sari silk and this uh, beautiful um, I topped it with this beautiful uh, butterfly fabric butterfly that was made by uh, Gina of uh, Pretty Paper Dreams from uh, Instagram. She made this a while back, like maybe two years ago, and I bought a set of, uh, I think, four of these butterflies for a different project, not for this one specifically, but um, projects before, but I haven't gotten into it. And then, I finally I was using it for something else again with uh, this but then it was too big for that project and then I just set it aside I have to use this so it's perfect for this uh, journal so uh, she had a tutorial actually of this um, pro of this butterfly in here in her Instagram at that time I remember but I just bought it from her and I kept some uh, some of them so it didn't have the pearl uh, bead here but I um, added it to it and then I just attach it with this uh, Tim Holtz uh, pin that I made a little kind of like head uh, with an antenna for the uh, butterfly so isn't it so pretty I just added this pearl beads and then wrapped it around with this uh, beautiful uh, sari silk from I think uh, color kissed silks it's just so pretty with the combination of this okay let's get started I'm sorry <laughs> I'm blabbering already so I'm hoping this is just uh, one take flip through 
Okay, I wrapped it around quite big so that you could tie it in a bow or expand it. But I just simply put it in like a single ribbon bow. So let's set that aside. So in the cover of the journal, I used, uh, by the way, I think this, this the base of this uh, journal is the legal envelope, the long letter envelope that I had used for the signatures. And in the cover, I did this uh, kind of like flip up with another uh, smaller envelope. And then I have this little, uh, a big, kind of like a big butterfly in comparison to this uh, fabric but butterfly of uh, Gina. And I, this is from a digital kit. I can't say exactly where. I'm sorry, I did this like about a month ago already and I forgot which of these prints come from which. So I actually have the list here and I'll include this in the description box. But it's one of those butterfly um, kits. So I made a little flip up. This one definitely I'm sure is from the Sepia roses which is very pretty with uh, roses and a bunch of other images and I on the primary uh, cover I did an embossing of a thick napkin it's a brown napkin but I had some leftover of ink from the embosser which I used somewhere else in the thing so this thing flips out here. I added a little kind of like a jewelry for this journal is are these uh, pearl beads. And then I made a little antenna there. This is from one of Christina's kits also. Probably the blue spring, it's where it's one. And there's a little tuck here that I had a collage of one of the blue but butterflies from one of those kits that I just collage with some uh, embossed uh, paper okay but this butterfly flips open also okay and it's both ways up okay on in here this beautiful uh, image of butterflies it might be from the spring beauties or late I'm not I'm, I'm not sure sorry uh, I'll, I'll link it up later sorry I'm blabbering so in here I have a little uh, I think I have a pocket in here there you go okay got so it could flip flip open but closes like that I have this uh, beautiful uh, blue like what I said I was planning to make a blue garden uh, journal out of this it's a gardening book page, which is very pretty, okay? Then I have a French, um, a very old French book page in here. Flips out. Got this. This is from a printable with that little butterfly there. Piano page that I lined with a blue paper and glued it together. A little uh, vintage uh, French uh, page document. I have a lot of white pages in here. These are uh, mostly vintage papers, but there are a bunch of uh, white, really white papers. And I like the contrast of the, like the distress or the tea dyed old look of the old papers. But I all also like uh, combining it with uh, white paper. So we have a ledger page here then i have a little this one came from i think the the femme butterflies i printed the page with the little prints of butter silhouettes of bu butterflies with uh, different images in it instead of the actual butterfly and i added here a little uh japanese uh paper with some sakura or cherry blossoms the book page here a vintage book page not sure where it came from it came from a little and this is from like an um, magazine uh, a magazine page that I love it it has a panoramic uh, picture of the meadow 
a body of water, a forest, and the mountains and the sky. And I meant to put something in here. Okay, there's kind of like a secret pocket. From a distance, you won't see, you won't really see that there is a pocket on both ends. And I bound this uh, signatures with uh, like a variegated uh, yarn, brown blue yarn in here. I meant to add some charm in here, but actually this is not <laughs> quite finished yet, but I wanted to do the video already and uh, share it, but I'll, I'm sure I'm still gonna be working on this uh, journal. Let's move on quickly I just love the papers in this so it's not as decorated as uh, some journals here's the other side of the uh, green ledger that I added a little uh, dainty lace there and a little piece of uh, my handmade paper which has a butterfly and flowers okay it flips out that ledger page and I added another uh, it's a Japanese uh, stationery that has the greens and I kind of like, um, I forgot the name of the artist. I love this artist. This opens up and I have a little, uh, this uh, green leaf uh, trim in here. Okay, it's a full page of this beautiful uh, print. got a little pocket here with music uh, page and a little bit of uh, embossed uh, script. I tucked a little bit of this, uh, just an embossed uh, vinyl wallpaper that I had added a little bit of a, uh, it's, this is a card, playing card that I distressed, kind of like with uh, gesso and uh, sandpaper it. In there and this one is a printable from I think from the blue spring that I had painted uh, oil paint over the print because I can't draw <laughs> I try but I'm not any good with drawing and it, this is one easy way to um, satisfy my painting uh, having uh, quick painting without having to draw Got a little flip out there of a vintage uh, French book page. This is a rosil paper, a handmade paper, and I love the blue color of this uh, handmade paper from Heather. Of course, she does all those pretty uh, handmade papers. This is the other side of that pretty. Uh, print with butterflies and flowers. I have a little tuck here, a lace tuck. I forgot to place something in it. I have, I still have a pile of uh, scraps that I need to work on to add some more ephemeras to this, to this uh, journal. There's this thick, which is kind of a signature on the other side of the journal. And we got this beautiful uh, page here. I'm not sure where this uh, printable uh, came from. And we got this beautiful image of this uh, lady with the butterfly and this bold uh, floral print. So I added it there. In here, I tucked something. So I meant I wanted to do kind of like nature, the like what I said, the fluttery. Creatures. So I have some birds in here also. Got a book page that says there, and then some fussy cut uh, bird images that I collage with some scrap of uh, Christina's uh, printable. And I have this. Um, I love this uh, paper that were like it's a French uh, book record that is like I have a thick uh, book that is uh, printed on like tissue paper and I it's very thin so I didn't mind layering it here a few pages of it and I kind of like staggered the pages 
in here I got an avocado dye see how pretty this avocado dye turned out I did that like a long time ago before I was even on YouTube and it's a ledger and I have this uh, collage uh, image with some embossed uh, paper and uh, embossed paper with some roses and a little mini pocket with a white lace in here. I got an Edith Holden, uh, kind of like a diary page here. I put April for spring and I think, uh, I mean, it's April still. And I got this beautiful um, vintage, it's a vintage uh, wallpaper, but it's a vinyl wallpaper, not the old, old French uh, wallpapers that are really paper. I have this little, I'll put a little charm in there later. Just, okay. A French document, Edith Holden's, uh, the other page. And I got the other page of the ledger where I added a, uh, tea dyed doily and um, embellished it at the edge with some uh, vintage laces. Another wallpaper that I embossed. Just tuck it there. Here's the other side of the avocado dyed paper with the doily. And here's the other side of the um, tissue paper printed French document and I have a little uh, dainty French uh, lace or is it embroidery this is fair it's not a scrap I'm just uh, using it sparingly because I don't have that much or it's it's on the side here and I try to use it I'm not hoarding it so I'm trying to use it and in here is a beautiful uh, printable and I pop in uh, an image from uh, Ruby and Pearl. This is a digital from Ruby and Pearl, a quote. So, and um, I hope Christina doesn't mind it. So, I have this little quote that says, the butterfly, butterfly is only beautiful because caterpillar was brave. And I put a little, I made a little caterpillar there that has the, it was from like this uh, pom-pom trim. And this flips open with this beautiful uh, green image of uh, bold flowers. I have another wallpaper here that has this pretty white background with blues, pinks, and purples. And it has a little dainty embossing there of what I would think would be like forget-me-nots. Okay, here's another signature each signature I tried to put in like five sheets of paper I can put more so that it won't be like an alligator mat and this printable is from um, I, I shouldn't say because I know I'm mixing them up uh, spring beauties probably is where this came from it's a bird. it opens up there okay and I know this is a printable from Christina and I collage it with a little bit of a French document a magazine page of some kind of uh, poetry and I have a little uh, feather stamp oh, I glued it and in here is another uh, the back of the magazine page that I put in a little B stamp and I have this gray tone uh, sketch uh, book page that I embossed with a bold uh, poppy. I have this little, I think this is another embossed wallpaper okay, with pretty embossing. I got this little butterfly from that kit and then uh, I didn't glue it all around so it's kind of like a little uh, 3D effect there. It's a magazine page or a book page probably of a gardening. I collage it with a little bit of uh, scrap. On here, I got this pretty uh, background paper with really faint 
it's like pink lavender print from one of her kits and then I just made this little tag from one of the prints that I printed stuffed it in there I have a I think this is from a magazine, a painting magazine that is giving like directions of uh, patterns. I have in the middle here an image of a bird with the uh, sepia rose background in the back. Here's the other side of that pretty pink purple or lavender print. This is from the Sepia Rose uh, print. I think a gardening book page. It has pocket in it, but... Oh, that's why I have this wallpaper. I think I was just gonna put some of this um, handmade papers. This is a handmade paper I made myself. It's a little too wide for that. I'll just tuck it in. Maybe I'll I just want to include the whole thing in there, so I'll just fold it so it fits in there. The confetti's coming up. And I have this, uh, the back of the gray toned uh, sketchbook and a little, I think this is a scrap from one of the pages that says, From My Garden Journal. image of butterflies uh, another print from her and I think this is the last page okay and I have this little butterfly uh, wing flap on here and that flips over to the other side of the journal so on here I have wrong okay sorry it's supposed to be this way so I have another butterfly here another image that I uh, printed a uh, big and made kind of the same thing that I did in the front but this time it's the yellow butterfly and you know I'm usually inspired by color I match this little um, collage uh, print of the house the sepia roses kind of like the field so this is also an envelope, a smaller envelope. It flips open here. And like what I said, I wanted it to be like a fluttery. I layered here an embossed um, watercolor paper, I believe, uh, that I did uh, reverse ink embossing, which I learned from uh, Karen of Grace Bee Creations. She's very... Uh, She's very fun and creative. Um, I'll link her video where I learned how to do this. I've never thought of that before and I've been um, having fun using it. It's not as pretty because I don't have the proper um, the inking tool. So it's kind of like messy but it's still pretty. And I have a little uh, pretty, very delicate uh, French uh, polka dot uh, French trim in here. So this flips open and I layered this with, I think it has like, it has a tool, the, the watercolor paper and that uh, onion skin paper with some packaging in the back. And the envelope itself, the envelope base, I uh, embossed it with this beautiful uh, embossing. I know, I'm sorry. A lot of uh, ladies have asked, what is this embossing? This is an Anna Griffin uh, embossing folder that's already discontinued. That's why on the other side, I used the first flip. This is also an Anna Griffin uh, embossing folder, and this one is still available in, the sh in her shop. So I'll link that if uh, I remember. Sorry, I got distracted. So moving on, I got this uh, flip page here a little flip page here it's the actual envelope that I opened up it flips open up here and down here here I made a little uh, top pocket with uh, the rest of this uh, embossed paper and 
po rin some of this uh, leaf and twine trim. And I have this little butterfly from the butterfly cutouts. That could be a tag there. It flips down here. There's a collage uh, pieces of uh, paper and scrap and I just tuck this uh, beautiful uh, handmade paper from Heather of Rose Hill paper because this matches the color of this uh, printable. Okay, and this uh, flips open here. It's the actual envelope that I flip open. I doubled it up because oh, I with the print from the Sepia Roses. I think this as well is from the Sepia Roses, and I just decorated it with this uh, pretty uh, vintage French trim. And this was a tag that I created a little bit of a uh, heather of ruby and pearl scrap paper here because I made this uh, tag a while back after finishing a project and I wanted to make this um, tag but I had put away my stuff okay I got a little hinge here with the French uh, fabric here and an envelope pocket with embossing a butterfly uh, tag that are speed up okay. it's a beautiful print from one of the kids okay. this is a scrapbook paper that I printed uh, a, a Christina's printable in the back I got a French uh, letter here the beautiful uh, burgundy script and another embossing of uh, brown paper packaging I got a guest check there I have a bunch of uh, guest check and I haven't been using it I just remembered right now so I tea I tea dyed it and just put a little uh, trim okay it's a beautiful uh, printable I got this printable here from uh, actually I have this on the side I double printed it and I got this uh, cabbage dyed I didn't do anything to it I just love the how the cabbage dyeing turned out and I put a little uh, lace top in there and I got a little something special here kind of a lace fabric sampler that I had saved the cutouts from when I cut out this uh, prints that I used throughout the journal so I saved them and glued them together two of them and I uh, inserted kind of like a sampler of uh, laces trims and collage it with some uh, embossing numbers and stuff isn't it so pretty okay I'm glad okay never throw away those cutouts if you're doing a cutout so that's a very pretty like silhouette and I got a French uh, book page another French book page here where I attach an embossed uh, paper got another piece of that uh, butterfly that I um, I think I double printed it and I cut them apart and used them all over the journal. And here on the center page is a book page. It's a bit glossy. It's from um, Monet's uh, Giverny Garden. It's a it's from a book or a magazine, I believe. And I have a little butterfly there. And on in here is the back page. It's also from the Monet uh, Garden Book. And I added some little, um, what you call that? Stamp uh, dragonfly that I glued on 
tool so it's fluttery kind of and into the page a collage uh, embossed packaging paper a French book page this one flips open I love the layers that was created with that okay. and this is another of the oil painting that I did over her uh, print I think yeah it's dry already I wouldn't have placed it if it takes a while for the oil paint to dry and another uh, piece of that Japanese uh, stationary paper so pretty and on this page I got this full page uh, with butterflies that I doubled up with the same image and glued it at a different angle so that there's uh, kind of like the movement or 3d effect and then I put like little beaded antenna on each of them Here I got uh, a scrap. I think this is a a soap wrapper that I embossed and collage it with uh, the corrugated cardboard and the embossed uh, paper, packaging paper. The other side of the letter, French letter, and the other side of the scrapbook paper couple beautiful uh, printables. I think this one is a pocket also. Yes, it is. Okay, let's. I had meant to add some pressed uh, flowers, but I was doing some work here at home and I put away all my um, supplies. I just set aside some blue stuff and uh, stuff to work with, but I put away my pressed flowers with, where I have a lot but I found this uh, handmade paper that I made uh, maybe two years ago with some pressed flowers okay you might be in the last signature I have this brown image I think this is also a pocket so let me put this handmade paper my own handmade paper that has a uh, yellow tint to it and a blue butterfly that I had uh, decoupage napkin in the back I have a lot of those two that I haven't been using this is a Janet Marsh book page on this side and I got a little pocket here with another embossed uh, wallpaper I embossed it with the poppy this flips out and a nice uh, French, uh, vintage French trim. Beautiful uh, print from Christina's kit that I had decoupaged uh, blue napkin. This is a watercolor paper. And I got a little, oh, I wasn't able to glue it. Uh, it is a die cut of a butterfly with flowers on the other side. I'll think about it if I am gonna glue it in the page but I left it just like that for now a beautiful uh, magazine page with this blue looks like a store front and I uh, decorated it with uh, lace it's a beautiful magazine page of a dining kitchen uh, photograph Here's a full spread of an Edith Holden uh, book page. I love Edith Holden. And I uh, have this full spread of the Edith Holden page. I think it says April. And in the middle, I put it in this image from Easter Thoughts. It's like so pretty with like imagining like a place where Edith Holden were doing this uh, sketches, paintings, drawings long, long ago. This other image of that kitchen uh, photograph and 
in here I got this little uh, I made this ephemera out of her uh, the cutouts the butterfly cutouts and I've seen uh, other creators make this before but I made mine a little like four-sided so it could it goes around oh sorry I should be doing it this way and I got a little tab here and on the back is another uh, one of her prints it's so cute okay. I just tucked it in there I got a little um, vintage envelope here. It's a French uh, letter envelope from 1962 that I collage with a butterfly stamp. And I did some wax seals for, uh, what is it? Cher not cherry blossoms, plum blossoms that we have in, the, uh, in our front yard. And I included that in there. A little polka dot oops I did it reverse but it's okay with a piece of my handmade paper over a Janet Marsh uh, book page here's the other end and then I just made a little collage of scraps of her printable paper and I pin it with a rusty tea pin there's another image of that big butterfly Okay, I think this is the last page of this brown, beautiful brown image from her, one of her kids. Flips over there. I know I meant to put this uh, little uh, tag that I created. I think I meant to put it in here. So let's tuck her here. I forgot. Because this one has a pocket also. Oops, having a hard time there. Okay, so this is my uh, guest design team project share for uh, Christina of Chris Lana Crafts. Again, uh, thank you, Christina, for having me as a guest uh, design team sharing for this. And uh, thank you, everybody, for uh, watching and spending some time with me I have plans for this journal so I'm not selling this journal and I'm not quite finished like what I said uh, as soon as I'm done I'll let you know what I am planning the, uh, this uh, what I'm planning for this journal okay thank you so much for staying with me I think it might have been quite long video uh, wherever you are you guys all have a wonderful day